In the beginning, there was nothing. Well, that's not quite true. There was a lot of stuff, just not in any particular place. And then gravity did a thing and suddenly there was rock. Rock is actually the second thing to form in the universe. The first thing to form was the background radiation after the Big Bang. But we're not talking about that today. We're talking about rock, specifically this rock. Our story begins with a cloud of gas and dust around 4.6 billion years ago. This was a very special moment in the history of the universe because up until this point, everything had been in a primordial soup. It was on until this moment that Earth became the first planet to solidify and cool down enough to form a crust. Eventually, our whole solar system would follow this process and become a bunch of planets, but Earth was first. But rock isn't the only thing that forms during this time. At a star far, far away, something very special is happening. Hydrogen is being fused into helium, and that process creates all the other elements in the periodic table. This also created the first stardust. That's right, you were literally made of stars. All the carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen in your body came from the fusion of hydrogen in a star. Now, let's go back to Earth. Here's the problem. We have a bunch of rocks, but they're not in any particular order. There's no way to tell which rock is older than another. So we need to look elsewhere for our answer. Enter the gods. Wait, what? Yeah, I said gods, plural. The ancient Greeks believed that the Earth was formed when Gaia, the personification of the Earth, gave birth to Uranus, the sky. Together, they would rule over the universe as the first deities, but they weren't the only ones. In fact, every god or goddess that you've ever heard of is actually an ancient ruler of a celestial body. For example, Odin was the ruler of the constellation of Orion. All the constellations you see in the night, sky are actually ancient gods that fell from grace and were banished to the sky. This is all well and good, but it doesn't really answer our question, does it? Well, if you look carefully at the night sky, you can see that some of the stars aren't twinkling. They're actually planets. The ancient Romans named these planets after their gods. So if you want to know which rock is the oldest, you need to look to the planets. And if you look closely at the planets, you can see that they're all lined up perfectly. That's because they're all orbiting the sun in a flat plane. If you could see the Earth from above, you'd see the same thing. All the planets in the solar system are lined up in a flat plane, and the Earth is one of them. This means that the Earth must be as old as the solar system itself, which is approximately 4.6 billion years old. So next time someone asks you how old the Earth is, you can impress them with your knowledge.